they're likely to self-select themselves out of the process, even though they may have the skills, but they don't have the credential. My name is Alan Chris, and I'm CEO of Specialist Turner Canada. I think most organizations are aware of the concept of diversity and want to take advantage of it. They may or may not be good at doing that. So neurodiversity is a concept that humans are neurodiverse by definition. Everybody is different from everybody else and within the neurodiverse population or the population of humans, there are those who are relatively neurotypical down the middle and then there are those who diverge from the norm, from the mainstream. And so individuals who are on the autism spectrum, for example, or maybe others with ADD or ADHD and, and so many other diagnoses might be considered to be neurodivergent or, or not, not of the norm. And so many of the processes and many of the ways that we interact leave out those groups of people. Um, but the concept of neurodiversity is that everybody's diverse and so we should recognize that everybody's diverse and that there are others, there's some who uh, experience challenges because they're too far from the center. What we've learned is that there are several aspects of the recruitment process that make it harder for individuals on the autism spectrum to actually make it into employment. Uh, that includes the way the job descriptions are written as well as the importance of resumes, interviews, and the way that people are onboarded into their jobs. What a hiring manager is looking for is a skill set or a talent or a competency that they can bring to work and actually utilize uh, as a tool or as a, as a resource within the organization. A job description is typically an aspirational document, so the hiring manager is looking for all of these things. If they could get them, that would be great but they have things in there that they're not likely to get. But for somebody who's relatively literal and who's experienced a fair bit of rejection in their life, they're likely to self-select themselves out of the process even though they may have the skills, but they don't have the credential. And that can stop them from applying before they engage in the process. We've known through research and through experience, and I think intuitively that uh, that interviews, a typical interview is probably a poor way of assessing a candidate and selecting a candidate for a job. It's really common for an individual on the autism spectrum, for example, to not perform well in a job interview. But the job interview doesn't tell you anything about the competency of the individual when it comes to actually doing the work. So if we spend our time more focused on competencies determining whether or not a person has the capability to do the work, then we can get back to other issues of fit and how well the person's going to perform in the team and all that kind of stuff, which would lead to broader diversity, regardless of whether you're talking about autism or racial or, or you know where a person comes from, social backgrounds, anything like that.